I sent Rob Dew and Jason Douglas, and I was going to have them on today, but at the end of the show, Rob Dew said, can we do it next week? That way I'll have time to get some of the video of the 20-plus hours they shot over four or five days. And he'll have time to get all the documents together. But he was showing me what the National Guard and regular Army gave them. He went to a federally sponsored Homeland Security five-day drill Sunday through Thursday in Chicago. And in the literature online from the Army, it said... The Army will be working with local police in drug and gun interdiction. Remember uh, about a year ago, Blagojevich, right before that scandal started, he, uh, he was on CBS TV saying, I'm going to use troops door to door to confiscate guns. And then now, about a month ago, another uh, state senator came out and called for that. So my guys go to these drills. The troops don't even hide it. Because back when I caught stuff like this on tape in the late 90s, they would they would find out I was there and threaten me, have police throw me off you know, mainline streets, California. Uh, we had camera guys up in Hebron, Maryland, with the police walk up in Maryland with Marines that point machine guns at them and say, stop filming us. Uh, they had local kids looking for the, quote, militia people in the mock drill. Then last year, I had a uh, National Guard colonel on from Iowa who they admitted they were doing gun confiscation, takeover drills of how to lock down Arcadia. And that's in my film, Police State 4, The Rise of FEMA. It's so important to have this film, to know the tactics, the program, the brainwashing. Uh, you've got the governor last year of Tennessee. They had Army checkpoints, Marine Corps. Uh, I mean, it was, it was all the services, Air Force MPs. Homeland Security, shutting down whole highways. And then the governor said, don't do that. And the feds said, we're going to do it anyways. I even had state reps on. And then we got photos and videos off the news. It's in my film. And they want to, and it's whole highways shut down, U.S. troops searching them. Training the troops, it's okay. Training the people in the cars, it's okay. Training the media, it's okay. And telling the governor, hey, boy, we don't care what you say. We don't care if this is scaring people in small towns and big cities. And it turned out it was a four-state martial law lockdown drill. And they're having these everywhere. So continuing uh, and expanding uh, on that for everybody that's out there uh, listening, Rob Dew and Jason Douglas go to Illinois. And it was troops and police training to take on Americans. It was... Well, well, you've seen the New York Times where it shows the uh, Explorer Scouts and it shows a whole bunch of photos in the New York Times article. They have a photo gallery and it says they're training to take on American terrorists and disgruntled vets. And then Homeland Security plays the part of disgruntled vets and the kids come in with laser tag and kill the, the uh, mock vets who won't turn their guns in. And the New York Times is saying, isn't this great? Our 14-year-olds are training to take on disgruntled gun owners. That's what this was. And they let my guys in. They let them videotape the entire thing. And we're going to be covering it next week. Uh, again, uh, people are like, well, we want to see this now. <laughs> my guys show up with 20 hours of video or more. I saw like six boxes of tapes. There's five tapes per box, so... Probably 30 hours. I don't know how many hours. I'm just, we got a lot of video. And, I mean, what do you say? I have been to the drills where they're training to take on the American people. And, of course, over a year ago, we got the secret Homeland Security and MIAC reports that law enforcement sent us who were concerned. Uh, and in those reports, the media confirmed were well, real. Uh, the number one threat to America is veterans, gun owners, conservatives, libertarians, landowners, libertarians, and anti-war activists for that matter. Anybody who is not for the New World Order is an enemy. Ron Paul, you name it. Aaron Russo. Uh, the list goes on and on. This is what they teach. This whole police state is for you. You are the slaves. All right, we're going to go to Sam, Ronnie, Mike, and Anthony before our guest comes on. i got a bunch of other uh, news we haven't even gotten to yet. But yes, they've got foreign troops crawling all over the U.S., and they've been incrementally increasing their numbers for decades. And last year they had NLE 09. And it said in the FEMA press release, troops from all these foreign countries, mainly Eastern Europe, are training to fight American terrorists. 
I've seen articles in the Washington Post eight years ago. It's in my film, Road Tyranny, where it said Mexican and Canadian troops will be used to fight American terrorists. And then you noticed at the Olympics, it was in the news that the Army was running checkpoints, and now they're going to stay, and U.S. troops were used in Canada. See, this is the world government. This is the mercenaries. This is BP all over the Gulf Coast telling camera people they, they can't videotape. People say, well, what's your right? Well, what's your authority? My authority is I am God. And the media follows their orders. Just some guy in a baseball cap walks up and says, get out of here. And if that guy in a baseball cap calls the cops and postures right like he's the boss, the cops will get down and lick his boots. But citizens that grovel to police, a lot of cops now on steroids will just break your nose for fun and then charge you with assaulting them. Because you, like a dog that rolls over, you ever seen a dog that's cowed, you walk over to it and it rolls over on its belly and, you know, grovels and, and then, you know, maybe even squirts a little bit? You know, that's a sign of I totally submit, I'm scared, I'm peeing on myself. That's what the American people do. We just see government, and we just, oh, you want more taxes? You want to tell me what I can do? You want to run my life? You want to be my God? Here, let me roll over. I don't want Chris Matthews to call me a terrorist, and you just roll over and, 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 and submit. And, and maybe that should be the new national symbol, not the bald eagle, but a man on his back in a fetal position with a little puddle of urine. Maybe we should make an American flag like that, and then the stripes can be yellow for urine. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, that's what this, you know, of us urinating on ourselves. And, and, and the new American symbol will be a man in a fetal position peeing on himself. I mean, I'm sorry to get graphic, but that is what we are. We just, government says something, we ask, how high do we jump master? You are king, you are God, you are Lord, you are master. Nothing but government's good. Put fluoride in my water. Give me vaccines full of poisons. Tell me they're good. Lie to me. Give me GMO food. Take my property. Run my life. Brainwash my kids. I'm sorry. I mean, are we land of the free home of the brave, or are we the land of rolling over on our back and urinating on ourselves like a dog? And so some guy in a baseball cap walks up to cops and says, kick these people out of here. They're not allowed to be here. And they yes, sir, you look authoritative. <laughs> and then, the, I mean, it's just, it's just a watch my fellow. And I'm not bashing police here, but police know the position you've been put in. You know how you've been brainwashed. You know how you've been encouraged to be thugs. You know how the thugs get promoted. You know the truth, how it's macho to slap us, the milk cows around.